Hello and welcome to Open Palms, Spring Command and Forge Alliance, and all the 3599 games. Uh, here we got Attack Pebble playing a Cyber. It's about as good as it gets on Open Palms here uh, from uh, Pebble. Then we got here Jengar, who's actually Lucian, and he's UEF, and I think somebody mentioned that it looks like UEF is his favorite faction. This is going to be a pretty good game. I actually don't know who wins, but I want to do something slightly different this one. Usually I speed it up a little faster than the actual game speed. Here I want to keep it at the game speed and see what we can see. I'm sure these two players will give us a lot uh, to look at. Here we see a very early hunter now from Pebble. He's also making some engineers from First Land. Uh, it looks like uh, Zhengar is going to go quick second air. This, is, this looks a lot like Voodoo. Uh, and here you can see an engineer coming out is going to pick up a couple of those uh, rocks, just going to patrol. And uh, early mech marine here from Jengara. So both players, very similar. It looks like the uh, first mech marine, first hunter. They're going to meet in the middle, and the first fight here is going to happen around uh, 1 minute 30 seconds. Actually, very important. Whoever survives this one can do a lot of raiding of the other person's engineers. And here it is. You can see. It looks like that mech marine did a little better, but actually they both die. So, very even here at uh, 1 minute 40 seconds. Some engineers being sent here for Jengaro. Looks like a lot of land factories are planned. And uh, after, let's see, it's 3, 4. After 6 P gens, he's going to go second air. But he's probably you know, hoping to get hydro before he makes any bombers or anything out of that uh, air factory. Absolutely no air planned yet for Pebble. It's going 100% land. He's got three engineers here. He'll be spamming these land factories. Most likely send a few of these to get some of the mass. He's got an engineer picking up quite a few of those rocks because with three engineers making the land early on, you're going to run out of mass quick. Two engineers working on the hydro plus a radar getting these land factories. So you can see the difference in builds. Much earlier hydro here from Rungaro and a lot more land versus Jengari uh, here getting an air factory before he gets uh, into the land spam a little later hydro and also quite a few more rocks left over for Jengari in terms of expansion you can see an engineer here for Jengari looking for the stop side should get a little protection we do see a team of mech marines going for a raid for Jengari he's going to try to block this expansion pass for this engineer looks like uh, most likely after picking up a few of these rocks He'll move out. There are a few Manta here for Pebble who are going to try to intercept. And on the other side, it doesn't look like there's going to be any raiding. And we do see Lucian has a few mech marines which are going to move out ahead of this engineer. This is really good play from these players. They're really protecting these expanding engineers. It's just extremely important. And you can see the way actually Pebble moves his engineer. He skips these two mass extractors and a hydro, which are very vulnerable as we can see. The mech marines are moving there. And actually, we see the scout has spotted that. This engineer is going to choose some of these more uh, easily protected. And here we're going to see a fight mech marines versus engineers. And it looks like they are going to target the engineer and take it out. Great move there from uh, Jengar. And uh, with a proper micro, the mech, uh, mech marines could actually kill Manta, but probably not two at a time. This mech marine is just going to use his speed to run away. And here comes that first bomber from Jengar. It's going to take out uh, some engineers working on these factories. Looks like there's only one left. Only one kill, I believe, for this bomber. But only one engineer working on making that land spam. And actually, interceptors. So, early air from Pebble as well. Missed that. Also, we see Pebble working with two engineers working on a power spam. And uh, only one engineer here for Jengaro. It looks like he's making interceptors himself. He's all already here at minute four. He's working on his fourth land factory. And there's an engineer here for Jengaro, absolutely unprotected. Very aggressive ACU from Pebble as well. And another raid on the other side here with mech marines. Doesn't look like they got any kills yet. And they're going to go after this engineer. He's only protected by a single Manta. So Mantis versus mech marine. Uh, a big disadvantage here, a big victory for Jengar after he took that engineer, it prevented this expansion, which is costing Pebble mass at this point. 
earlier raid here from Pebble is missing. And here's the McMarine, another great McMarine, trying to dance his way around and just gets that engineer. So this expansion to this bottom three mask structure is prevented by Jingara. So good work for Jingara. Really, the only expansion is to the top here. You can engineer moving that direction, following the ACU. And here, these Manta should be able to take out the tanks and the ACU here for Jingara. Taking this expansion. Much less aggressive than Pebbles ACU. But it's nice to do uh, this expansions with the. You can see this ACU is completely ignoring that Mantis working on the factory. Nice to expand with the ACU because it can't easily be killed by Mech Marines, obviously. This tank, three kills, surprisingly still alive, but should be killed. So we've seen this entire game, this, this expansion to the bottom from. Pebble has been completely stopped. But now Pebble could put a, a lot of pain on Jingara's base. This engineer has been completely unprotected the whole game, but he's already picked up six masks extracted. One of those got killed. He's going to pick up a couple more. As well as back here, a very safe area here for Jingara. He's going to pick up a few of those mask extractors. And this Mantis is round around. Uh, this ACU is still alive, but most likely will get killed. will be the first kill for. Jingara's ACU. And this battle still held, still continues. Actually, it looks like Jingara has the numbers. And a nice tank now from Jingara doing some raiding. Looks like it did take out that expanding engineer. Gets killed. So one thing that Jingara can do here is you can push these uh, tanks past. If you get some tanks behind the base, very difficult to get those mass structures back. We're finally seeing some transport from Jingara whole bunch of engineers. You gotta take these high grounds. And finally a raid here from Pebble that probably should have came a little earlier. Total overkill. And it looks like Pebble will be able to get behind Jingara's base. In terms of land production, we see quite a few land factories for Jingara's got a couple more planned. It's all tech one. Pretty nice power spam still uh, now it's two engineers. Single air factory, you can see two engineers working for Pebble. And he's got uh seven land factories, total of eight. You can see Pebble trying to get back his expansion. He's got an engineer, very vulnerable. And now in Interceptor sitting on the ground here, almost getting shot. But now the stop side really belongs to Pebble with his aggressive ACU. And all these raids for the Manta. This engineer here for Shingar should be taken out. One thing to note, no raid over these. And now a pretty nice force here from Shingaro actually. Could be dangerous for Pebble's base. You can see Interceptors versus Manta very vulnerable when they're sitting on the ground. And actually, this will be interesting, and there's still three engineers here from Jingara. He drops right past to these Manta after taking the high ground. Well, most likely, yeah, we see these Manta are going to turn back. It looks like they spotted that transport. Nothing happening on the top. Now Jingara is trying to take uh, back his expansion here. The ACU for Pebble are retreating. Most likely worried about his main base. We actually see T2 land uh, now finally from uh, Pebble here at minute 8. Pretty quick Tech 2 land. And Jingara really threatening the base. We see Tech 1 point defenses being constructed by Pebble. Jingara moving in slowly. And up on top, looks like uh, once engineers start moving for Jingara, should be able to take this expansion. The ACU for Pebble running back to his base. This tech 1 point defense should be good. We see hoplites. As long as they keep their range, they'll be very powerful. Jingara with four kills, point defense with four kills, some overcharges. And perhaps now with this tech two it'll be very difficult for Jingara to break this base. So very timely units here from Pebble. But you can see map control really shifting in Jingara's favor. He's gonna take both of his expansions on both sides. Actually, he's Mente doing great raids here. They came all the way around but did not notice this engineer. A very big uh, quite a big mistake there from uh, Pebble. That's what happens when you don't have scouts with your raids. Now Jingara here just picking up some veterancy against these Manti. He's got a Pebble in a pretty bad position but he sh shouldn't be able to ex uh, actually get into his base. Now Pebble with his ACU gets close. See these hoplites. Some of them should have quite a few kills. This point defense with five. And now quite a few wrecks here to pick up for Pebble. He's already doing that. And a great raid here, good opportunity for these tanks. Just three tanks, actually, one Artie and two tanks. 
a lot of vulnerable units there for Pebble. You can see engineers are going to take this expansion, but still some Manta left for Pebble. It's always a good thing to do. These Manta are making their way around the world. Quite a few kills for these. Killing quite a few mass sharks, but these engineers taking advantage of no scout with our group. Walking around and going to rebuild very quickly. Now we're seeing Pebble getting an upgrade, getting uh, most likely the gun. Getting some units to help out. And this Tech 2 Force is really building up. For Pebble, you can see they can really outrange these uh, units. We do see some pillars, some Tech 2 from uh, Ringar as well. You can see back at base, he's got Tech 2 Factory. It's a very similar build at this point for these two players. Manta continue to roll through. We can run into some tanks. We'll get some more kills. And I can see what happens when you leave a few uh, Manti behind. Uh, they really should have killed that engineer. It looks like a retreat there for Pebble. But definitely map control in Jingara's favor. Still nobody has attempted to take that high ground. This high ground completely belongs to Jingara and it looks like the Jingara's DC is going to go down pick up a couple more mask extractors. Uh, tech 1 versus Tech 2 here. And uh, Cyber should be able to get this easy victory. Pebble getting yet another upgrade. Perhaps it's still the one that he's working on. See the power spam continues with just two engineers. Still hasn't switched to deck to power. And this is a really good raid. They just ran through this base. Really didn't kill too much, but they're going to kill this back base. Three mass extractors and a raider. No engineers in sight here for Pavlos, so it'll be difficult to recover. These Manta making it all the way around the world. They came from here. Actually, maybe these are some other ones. Perhaps these are the ones that made it all the, uh, around the world. But you can see a lot of people, uh, a lot of Manta behind enemy lines for Pebble. Some pillars are going to get a little too close. Will be outranged. And now you can see Pebble stealth plus the gun. A very powerful weapon. So Tech 2 land plus stealth and gun from Pebble. Jengar trying to get some mass structure. is going to really try to hold on to this place, but it'll be very difficult with this force moving in his direction. Perhaps some shields and some mongoose would be a good move. We do see shields mill moving in from Jengar. Get a little more health for this uh, army. Pebble with 7 kills. See a lot of units dying there for Jengaro. Jengaro. Really, if you look at uh, what Pebble has, he's got his main base in one expansion. This expansion is quite a bit of trouble here with those tanks moving in. See some units moving in there for Pebble, but probably not enough for. We'll see if it's enough or not. 13 kills for Pebble now moving in. You can see he's got a lot of tech units in support. And these uh, hoplites, as long as they stay out range, maybe a bit of a mistake there from Pebble. They'll be in good shape. They have the longest range of any Tech 2 units besides the missile launchers. Some Tech 2 engineers now for Jengar here, minute 13, going to get point defenses to prevent this push. And actually, if you look at the position of Jengar, he's now running. If Pebble perhaps rushed at this ACU, some quick units here get some Manta in his way, maybe he could go for the kill. But that's just uh, speculation at this point. Looks like a successful defense of this expansion here for Pebble. And he actually got some raiders moving up, so this expansion for Jingara could be in trouble. Still no bury up at this ledge. And you can see the mistake of not killing this engineer working on this factory by these Manta is really paying off for Jingara. Now Pebble with 36 kills will eventually run in these point defenses and perhaps stop this push. 39 kills, so a really good defense here from Pebble. And he's actually got a whole bunch of units, uh, or Rex to reclaim. But now he's going to have to make some missile launchers. And he's already making those mobile missile launchers from Cybern. A great counter to point defenses from UEF. So UEF really can't rely on these for too long. Back at base, you can see nothing coming out of this Tech 2 land factory for Zingaro. In terms of teching, still just Tech 1 uh, mask extractors all over the place. Tech 1 mask extractors, still uh, just a Tech 1 power spam. And a nice force here. This is about 15, 20 hoplites for. Pebble. One thing to note, not too much air at all this game. Uh, quite a bit more for Jengar, but really, besides taking this high high ground, he hasn't done much with it. A uh, very important tech, tech one point defense here from Jengar. You can see killed already eight units protecting this expansion. These Manta will still try to get a few of those mass extractors. And we're going to see a secondary fight here. We do see the main fight uh, getting pretty intense, but Jengar. Trying to be aggressive really doesn't have the tools to do anything to Pebble here. Pebble now got these missile launchers. Should target these point defenses. You see four kills for one of them. 
you see those missiles eventually they will take it out with no point uh with no TMD really no chance Chingaro 15 kills trying to stay in the game you can see these missile launchers doing their thing Pebble with 50 kills probably should just reclaim some units now we're finally going to see a raid and a point defense very important point defense here from Jingaro he's going to try to hold on to this expansion for as long as he can one point defense is killed the other ones are beginning to kill Let's see a whole bunch of planes sitting right next to the pillars and on the other side looks like some tech 2 is being sent by Jingaro maybe he'll try to make a push here we see quite a few Manta just tech 1 defending this expansion for Pebble now we can see these Manta actually taking out that uh, artillery that point defense don't see too much artillery so I wonder how many uh, Manta it actually took to do that and getting behind the force of more raids coming in for Pebble he's always got units behind enemy lines this entire game see the point defenses have finally been taken out, nice chunks of mass for Pebble 68 kills for Pebble, we got some scouts and really at this point just one tech 2 point defense and then Pebble can run and run through with his uh, tech 2 units, we got tech 3 land plans for Jingari here nearly done with it and these Manta are just ridiculous behind enemy lines trying to take out mass extractors great work there from Pebble and another force creating problems but uh, this tech 2 force from Jingara is going to take out Pebble's only expansion so map control still belongs to Jingara although these raids from Pebble should even it out and of course so much mass to reclaim here for Pebble here at minute 17 as he making that push See, in terms of reclamation 6,000 for Pebble Jingara at actually at 10,000 looks like he's been picking up mass all over the map that should be able to catch up here Pebble leaving his ACU behind just pushing with the Tech 2 having quite a bit of success finally we see some Titans coming out for Jingaro see how successful they are against the Hoplites which can still outrange these although it's a very powerful unit once it gets close and these missile launchers from uh, Pebble cyber missile launchers just shooting whatever they want Jingaro not getting an upgrade be nice to get a few missiles right there get kill those engineers can see not too much flash damage from that pebble now with a gun let me just saw a couple titans get killed and now pebble has a few options he can take out this expansion and those sneaky manta from pebble just uh, got around and got into Jingara's base but the single uh, titan here should, should make short work of all those manta but still great raids there from pebble and some tech 2 finally from Pebble pushing uh, Jingaro back he's going to try to recover his expansion and might actually take another expansion here from Jingaro so evening out map control and still nobody taking that upper ledge Jingaro pushing with his ACU 15 kills with the gun Pebble 68 kills and this expansion for Jingaro is going to disappear surprising this is still alive and that's all because of this point defense a lot of engineers here for Jingaro and actually uh, Pebble could be in a little bit of trouble here we can see Tech 3 units moving in the direction of his ACU as well as uh, Jingara's ACU and now we see a split here from Pebble he's going to use one force to defend his ACU and the other one to continue raiding we see some Tech 2 uh, missile launchers plus some hoplites in this one now Jingara is going to get between these two forces he's going to cut off this force and with these tools here that this force has he can wipe out any of these units really no chance for tech one point defenses against these tech two units Pebble retreating and Jingara is going to retake this expansion and Jingara if he can uh, secure this area strong enough that he can hold on to this other expansion he'll be in really good shape we see up on top a whole bunch of hoplites rolling through and Jingara here with tech one trying to avoid any any kind of fighting this mantis here seven kills great mantis from Pebble and very undefended situation here for Jingara if these units decide to roll through surprising they don't they're just gonna kill out this uh, tech 1 uh, land force I would do see now tech 3 force with Jingara looking at what they can do we can see a pretty big retreat there from Pebble respecting the tech 3 but he's got tech 3 of his own 
with some loyalists, and now we are seeing cruise missiles from Pebble. I think it's the first uh, first time we've seen cruise missiles in this game. Coming up on minute 20, we see some tech two-point defense here on this back door for Jengar. So he's expecting a, an attack here from Pebble, which we just might see. And actually attacking from the other side as well, we see Manta trying to defend. I'm a little surprised that this is what uh, Pebble did instead of getting behind Jengar's base, perhaps. Yeah, it looks like he's going to use the other force. We see another split here for Pebble. He's going to really secure this top expansion. And, uh, yeah, he's just sending some hoplites in, trying to cause havoc in Jengaro's base. And Jengaro not pushing through with his Tech 3. 26 kills for his ACU. He's taking on some loyalists. Pebble uh, really being defensive, retreating. This expansion is still alive for. Jingaro here, minute 20, and some uh, nice raids here from Jingaro, take one tanks, taking out a bunch of expansions for Pebble. Uh, surprisingly, still no units going up here, killing off these units for Jingaro, very undefended. Still Pebble thinking, dreaming about the main base here, which perhaps is a good idea, there's very undefended except a few titans. Now Jingaro continues to push, perhaps now a counter push from Pebble. Jengaro could be in a bit of trouble if he loses his force. His ACU will be all alone against a pretty massive Tech 3 force. Now we see cruise missiles. Just two loaded missiles. Still no shots from uh, Pebble. Perhaps he's trying to get Jengaro to just rush in, but now Jengaro realizes he may be in a little bit of trouble. He begins retreating. A nice Rex here for uh, Pebble to reclaim once again. And once again, uh, Pebble runs into uh, Jengaro's base, but the Manti doing good defense, really. Not too many losses at all for uh, Jengaro from these raids. And a tech two point defense uh, creep here. Uh, Sparky from uh, Jengaro, a field engineer. And now tech one point defense is for Tech Pebble. He's really evened out this map control. And uh, actually, this tech two point defense will do a lot of damage here against Pebble. Pebble continues to push. Jengaro now with 31 kills. Pebble with 83. See some overcharges from these players. But Titans versus Loyalists, definitely an advantage for Loyalists. We might see some Percy's coming out soon. Doesn't look like uh, that's happening yet. And a tech to point defense creep. This is great from Jengaro. A great engineer from the EF. The hidden engineer here with the radar staying out of now it appears that uh, Jengaro was a little too close. So once again I missed the ending but I think it was pretty obvious after a while Pavel just built up a little too many units, too many Tech 3 units with his force and Loyalists beat out the Titans and just a small push here from Pavel along with his ACU, 86 kills in the ACU wins the game so a very good game we're at the end, uh, Cyber and Tech 3 beat out the Titans